right? I was just, I wasn't, I wasn't willing to do some of the things. So just let it roll, brush it off, who cares? Um, yeah, so, so I, you know, so it, it took six years for that misalignment to really come out. Um, but eventually it does. And, um, and I probably, you know, I probably, I, I, I felt it during the 2016 season when we were talking about the election and then how it played out on the show. I thought, oh, this isn't, you know, I'm going to do it again because the at that point, the money is so good. You know, the money is great towards the end, right? After like, see, after you've been on it four or five seasons. Right. You know, in fact, the first season, you don't get paid really anything. It's just like a budget. I always thought of it like Rob was giving me a budget and, and it's not a big budget. And the first year, everyone gets paid 60,000. I was just going to say like 60,000. Right. Well, they start with 50 and then they go up to 60 like that's a, But uh, since I was naive about it, um, I thought 60,000. I was like, that's crazy. No one's doing this for $60,000. Plus, it's just a budget in which you use that money to help them create content for their franchise, their quarter of a billion dollar franchise. So it's like out of that budget, 60 bucks, you have to take out your wardrobe, hair, makeup, whatever you do. Shopping, for instance, you'd have to go shopping on the show. And then you'd have to, I would feel obligated to buy shit, right? And then it's like, well, this is like, so it was like all coming out of the budget. I ended up getting a hundred thousand the first season because just because I was like, I'm not doing it for 60. I'll do it for a hundred. I remember my lawyer at the time said, they're never going to go for it. I said, okay, I don't even care. I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to do it. I, I mean, I just feel like as a, 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 as a, as a point of pride or something like yeah. $60,000. So, so then they said, yes. Which I'm so, shocked. I'm shocked. They let you put that clause in and gave you a hundred thousand dollars. I'm shocked. Well, I'll show you the contract that, you know, no, I mean, I, I believe you. It's just good for you. Cause they don't usually, they must really have wanted you. I mean, I think they had blown up the show at that point and right. They'd fired like four people, which is nuts, but that's the production company. You know, they, they didn't really know what they were doing and they guys hired, they, they were, they were, I mean, I guess they were desperate. Um, I only found out that none of them, the Heather and Aviva didn't get the hundred thousand because then the second season we were negotiating and then, and then they gave us 150 and I was like, oh, well, okay. And I was like, but Heather thought it was great. I'm like, it's not that great. She's like, double. And then I realized they had just paid her the 60. Of course, yeah. I immediately told her because I wasn't going to like pretend or lie to her. I was like, just so you know, girl, this is what they, um, but they did it in fancy accounting. So if you actually see my paycheck stub, it looks like I was just getting 60. But I, I got paid to, to like from two different, I don't know, two different accounts or there's like some paid from Bravo, some paid from, from Shed Media. Interesting. Yeah. What about, well, I mean, yes, I, to your point about Aviva, I know that if I ever get in a fight with you, I can call you a bitch. I can call you anything, but I will not ever suggest that you have. <laughs> no, writer. I mean, I just, I don't, mean, I, I get it. I don't, don't, don't belittle something that I really care about. And that's really not that much other than my husband and his family and my career that, I, you know, that makes sense. Listen, I mean, I don't, writing a book is not easy. I mean, they weren't, they were, they weren't willing to talk about any of the great thing, right? Like it wasn't like they were talking about, like asking me about my travels at ABC and the stories I had covered and winning Emmys and, uh, you know, all the, you know, all the awards, they weren't, they, no one, they only wanted to talk, about, they only wanted to trash it up. So I was like, oh, I'm not okay with that. But, but. That's um, understandable. Yeah. Did you have a low from the whole time you were there? Like, was there um, just one memory? Well, what else is happening? I mean, then on the show, oh, and then I met Adam. That was fun because he's he was cute for um, isn't that isn't that one of the highs? You had Adam for a little while. I mean, that <laughs> Carol, that would be a high for me. I mean, I'm over here in Chelsea, not that far away. You could have sent him my way. <laughs> um, no, that would I'll tell you, that was so completely unexpected because another thing I thought I'd gone on that first season, I was just like sort of ending a relationship with. Um, Russell, right? He was yeah. the keyboard player in Aerosmith, right? So, he, it, you know, we had been together kind of off and on for two years when I was living in LA and that was fun, but I felt like it was kind of coming sort of to an end. And um, and, and he was on the show that first season with me a couple of times, but 
but they were they were touring uh, Aerosmith I think was toured that like for three months that first when we were filming so he wasn't around anyway oh in fact we went to St. Bart's because he was playing in a, a music festival in St. Bart's that was the that was technically the reason oh. you know we were desperate to find a reason for us to go anywhere and I'm like well Russ is playing in a music festival we could pretend you know we could pretend we're uh, really desperate to go see them in this <laughs> music festival they're like great <laughs> they're like um, Aerosmith perfect that that yeah. makes sense yeah and um so we did that so um but but then after that relationship was over I felt like I'm on the show and it's really hard to have a private life and really date someone of of, of consequence that I really like and 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 who wouldn't be so uh, bl blown away by the whole TV machinery of it all, right? Like yeah. no, one, no one is gonna wanna be part of this crazy, crazy town show. Uh, so it was nice when I met Adam, uh, cause I, I sort of resigned myself to not being in a relationship for a couple of years. I was fine with them. Like, let me just do this and like focus on this and not be in a relationship and have them the women like trash it up, right? So then I meet Adam and, and it was nice because it was on the show, it was completely unexpected. I mean, it really was that moment we met, I think was on the show. Like wow. I walked into the kitchen, I was like, hi, who are you? And um, and of course that got trashed up a little, but I we didn't care, Adam and I, because off camera was our relationship, right? What that the, they were chatting about and what Luann continues to just chat about is ridiculous, uh, you know, was irrelevant. To us, but it, it you know ultimately we were together about four years, three or four years, and it does it does have it does weigh on you. You know, it's hard really to have um, a relationship um, and 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 show it on the show, and and like ha have the show not it you know uh, impact the relationship, even though as much as we tried to keep it off the show. Four years is, I mean, do you think it would have lasted longer if it wasn't for the show or do you think it actually no, lasted I think longer? Four years good. I think four years was good. Honestly, I, I mean, four years, yeah. Uh, I'm, yeah, no, four, it was, it, it was, we had a great run for the time we were together and we're still friends now. So, it, you know, it was, he was, he was someone in my life at the time when he was exactly what I needed and I was to him and it just really worked. And, uh, and I don't, yeah, I don't know if we would we wouldn't still be together if it wasn't for this. It's hard to tell, like a hypothetical like that. It's hard to say. But um, but yeah, I mean, we took a lot of hits because, you know, he was, you know, it was all manufactured and made up stuff, you know, that Luann was talking about. But um, but it made for good TV. And and you know, no matter how I always say it's not really sometimes what you say for me in my experience, it wasn't what you said that like bravo would manipulate and exploit it was all the things that didn't get in the show it was all the stuff where you were explaining no this is actually what really happened da, 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 da. and made it was logical and factual and made sense but it, it was like oh we don't that's not as interesting <laughs> or that's not as like dramatic you know it's more dramatic if you stole luann's luann's niece's yeah away from her that's like that's like that's soap opera land right we like that we're like that's not any way shape or form the truth but um so and and it didn't matter how many times I said that it, that was just always on the cutting room floor or they you know, weren't interested in that you know so it you know it, it ended up you know being out there I don't care 